Guinea, where election officials say they have postponed Sunday's second round presidential election. Well, the election was called into question by allegations of fraud, the death of the Electoral Commission president, and political violence. Now, VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns reports from the Guinean capital, Conakry. The National Independent Electoral Commission is postponing this vote in part because Guinea is awaiting delivery of 450,000 new polling cards that are scheduled to arrive Sunday or Monday. The decision to delay this second round runoff between former Prime Minister Selu Jalo and longtime opposition leader Alpha Conde came after interim Prime Minister Jean-Marie Doré met with both candidates. Prospects for delaying this vote rose when the Electoral Commission suspended campaigning Sunday following two days of violence between Jalo and Conde supporters. The clashes followed last week's conviction of two senior electoral officials accused of falsifying results from June's first round of voting. Conde's party brought the charges against the Electoral Commission president and his head of planning, who were found guilty of withholding results from some polling stations. Jallo's party says the court decision was meant to disrupt the Electoral Commission and delay Sunday's vote, in which Jallo is seen as the frontrunner. Akali Traore is Conde's campaign manager. We don't have a problem with the date. It's not a question of election date. What's important today is that our party wants to organize, for the first time in the history of our country, elections that are transparent. Traore says delaying this election will give voters more confidence in its eventual outcome. The entire world has noticed alongside all Guineans the irregularities in the electoral process, which were at the heart of the misgivings of the first round. I think, therefore, that we need to respect a certain number of conditions before the second round. Jallo says further delay, especially fueled by political violence, may discourage private sector investors in the country's mining. If we can accept that the Democrats. We should accept to be Democrats. We've all fought for the Guineans to be able to exercise their right to choose their leaders. Going into a competition, we should accept the fact that we might lose. That means we should accept the results. But also consider the fact that a political competition is a question of a debate of ideas. Acting military ruler General Sakuba Konate has been trying to return Guinea to civilian rule nearly two years after Captain Musa Dadis Kamara took power in a military coup. General Konate Wednesday reaffirmed his support for the electoral process and says the military will support whoever emerges as the winner. The Electoral Commission announced no new date for the vote, but may do so after additional meetings here Thursday. Electoral Commission spokesman Tierno Sedubayo says they need at least two weeks to prepare well. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Conakry.